Good afternoon. The Gospel for Tuesday, August 25th, is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23rd. I'm Sister Suzanne Baumgartner for the Church Parish of St. Alphonsus in Woodstock. If you read through the chapter 23rd, and we've been reading through it this week at Mass, it has seven woes. Jesus says, woe to this, woe to that, woe to the next thing. It's an expression of his wounded love to the people of Israel. His wounded love for their emphasis on small things and missing the bigger picture, for their emphasis on externals and not uh, finding the deeper meaning of what he's saying. He probably was frustrated at this point or whatever he was, he was telling everybody, whoa, this is my wounded love. But when you get to the end of this, it's pretty heavy going through it. When you get to the end, he says, I would like to have gathered your children as a, a hen gathers her chicks under her. So he's really talking about how he wants to gather the people of Israel in a love embrace how he wants to gather all of us in this embrace of love. And he, he's not getting the response that he wants. If you think of his allusion to this hen with his chicks, maybe you don't have chicks in your backyard like I don't. But if you watch the panda at the Washington Zoo on the webcam that they have, she just gave birth on Friday to a little teeny tiny baby. It's about the size of a stick of butter. And her care, her attentiveness as she takes care of it, as she nurses it, as she holds it, as it seeks her. It's an expression to us. We can learn from this panda of the simile for God's love as he yearns for us, he yearns to hold us. Take this time today, or some time, to relax in God's love. Like you would be relaxing at the beach in the sunshine. Let it pour over you, fill you, warm you. God loves you very much. If you look at those seven woes, you might say, yes, that's me, that's me, yes, that one's me. But Jesus is longing to gather you as a hen gathers its chicks. Rest in that. Live in that. Live each day in that. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.